Welcome, Infonomi is a Motorola Moto G06 Power and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of your brand new device. So, to get started, when you boot up your phone for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here. And first thing you'll want to do is click right here where it says Polish and find your desired language. Now I'll be changing it to English and when you select your language it will ask you also give you options for regions. Uh, here I recommend changing it to something that is in the European Union if you can and God forbid you'd ever select UK. Um, let's see. Can I select Poland actually? Where the hell is P? Uh, never mind, I can't select Poland. Okay. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna click whatever. So, from here, we're gonna move on. Now, before I actually do, I do want to point out why I was uh, had the logic to select European Union as a country. And it's because if you select a con or region that you're supposedly in, uh, that would basically force the phone to abide by those rules, right? So, as an example, right now, we have this amazing thing happening where Europe, European Union, is basically uh, beating over the head Apple uh, to open up their Play Store, or maybe not even the Play Store, but the iOS ecosystem to alternative stores. Now, Apple is obviously being a little piece of shit brat, uh, kicking and screaming and having a little tantrum about this because, oh, wait, it won't be secure. And the European Union doesn't give two shits a fuck about it. So, um, basically, they're continuously trying to procrastinate about it. And uh, what will end up happening is they will eventually do it. Or they will get fined up the wazoo till it really becomes not very economical for them to continue resisting. So, in case like this, when you are supposedly in Europe at that point, they will only allow this to, to be a thing in Europe because you can be rest assured they're not going to open up your store in the US. Let's, let's just not confuse that because they're not doing this out of grace, gracefulness of their heart. Um, so, they will only do this for Europe. It's going to be more of a malicious compliance. And uh, yeah, if you're in Europe, then voila, you can utilize this. If you're not, you're still getting shafted by Apple. Uh, Tim Cook is really uh, trying to cook your wallet. Uh, so yeah, um, so that's why I recommend changing it to things like European Union. Now, let's move on. Now, I did actually use Google as an example, well not Google, but uh, Apple as an example right here, but Google is most likely going to be in another lawsuit themselves uh, because they do try to now lock up their ecosystem and the pretenses of security. It's a load of bullshit and I'm pretty sure European Union was going to catch up to that one and again they're going to be forced to do the same stupid thing uh, and they're going to act the same way as most likely Apple did. Now anyway, here we have the option to insert our SIM card, so we can do that right now if you want to, or you can completely ignore it. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, this is just one way of you connecting to mobile or to network in general. And another one would be through Wi-Fi, which will show up. But next page we have set up using another device. So if you have another device, you most likely uh, will get something like... this show up on your phone. Come on. Oh, not this. This. Come on. Ah, there we go. So you can see it allows me to now move over the data from this device. But don't be fooled by this. It will only set up the things that are stored on the Google account as Google is the, you know, uh, trying to force you to basically give them access to every kind of data they possibly can so they can train their garbage AI models that will replace us. Yay! Uh, so I say screw that, you can do this in different ways by just plugging in a cable um, and copying the data manually instead of just allowing Google to hoover up your uh, personal information uh, with a graceful act of allowing you to have it while they're also going to use it to train their AI. I, I, I just, just don't. Now, we can skip this for now, uh, or uh, for always actually. 
And here's the Wi-Fi connection page, which I mentioned before. So connect to your network if you want to. Again, this is optional. You don't need to, so you can skip this. But by skipping it, because I also didn't insert a SIM card, it gives me this pop-up. So set up offline because I won't have any network connection. And it, uh, as a result, I won't be able to sign into my Google account, restore apps and data, get software updates, and automatically set date and time. It's completely fine. Now, I should also mention that all of these mentioned things right there can be changed later on after the setup is completed by going into the settings. So they're not set in stone. You don't need to worry about that one. Now, here we have privacy and security. So help Motorola or improve Motorola products, enhance device support and so on. You can read if you like this or if you don't, and you can turn it all off if you don't like it. Let's click accept and continue. Now here's the page that if you connect it to network, you won't see. It's a date and time. Now because I don't have a network connection, I can fix it up if the device sets the time incorrectly, but it actually set it correctly, right? Yeah, it is. So I'm just going to ignore it for now. I mean, it is correct. So moving on, we have Google services, like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, if you're a privacy advocate, you might think of this as, yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Uh, it doesn't really mean shit, like literally. Uh, you might not allow location, for instance, and location is based on a Wi-Fi access and GPS. Uh, but hey, let's not forget that your device can also track you through Bluetooth and through radio waves and uh, through cell towers and through other things. So cool. Uh, they don't know exactly where you are based on these mentioned uh, ways, but they know out of everything else that the device uses. And also if you turn off things like Bluetooth and you put your device into airplane mode, which shouldn't have access to anything, don't worry, it still does. It's not a secure device. It never was. Um, so just look at this as more of a uh, you trying to convince Google to not do these things and Google being like, yeah, cool, we give you toggles, go piss off, we're still going to do it. So I'm just going to ignore this. Next, we have uh, set a pen. By default, it opts into a four to, to six digit pen. You can click on screen light options and also select pattern or password. Completely up to you. Or you can just not protect your device at all which I wouldn't recommend. Now, I don't recommend it, but it's what I'm going to be doing right here, just to save time. Now, without any kind of screen lock, you also won't be able to add a fingerprint sensor, which is on the power button. So I'm just going to select skip. Now, the reason I don't recommend actually not protecting your device is because your phone holds the most amount of your personal information. Uh, you might have obviously contacts, documents, uh, unsolicited pictures, or some other things. It would be a shame if you lose that device and it's completely unprotected and anyone can have access to all the information like that. So selecting a pin, pattern, or password basically protects your phone in case you lose it or get stolen or whatever other thing happens. Now here we have stay up to date. This is from Motorola. Uh, they just want to send you spam. I'm going to skip this. Uh, navigation style, so we have two methods, buttons, which are selected by default, and gestures, which is what I prefer. But it's completely up to you. Uh, high brightness, let's see if we can try it. Try it out. A top OK to boost the brightness uh, to 600 nits. Uh, OK. You know what, I'm going to keep it. It's still not super bright, but hey, that's that's better. Then we have team light dark. It's just lowered down in brightness for no reason. I guess it's not permanent. Okay. Wow, that's uh, that's not 600 anymore. Um, so here we have the light and dark theme along with uh, transition. This would basically change between a light and dark mode based on time of day. I'm gonna stick with the light one. Uh, set up parental control. That's completely up to you. Uh, if you want to set it up. Uh, if you're the one using this device, you probably want to skip this. Next, we have a live lock screen. So this is a wallpaper carousel, as other devices name it. I recommend turning that off. It's um, much easier to select your static wallpaper that will always be there, rather than have some random wallpaper show up, like a made cleaning, and then you have to uh, explain yourself to your significant other. Why do you have a... 
um, I don't know, a, uh, a very good looking maid as a wallpaper on your phone. And then the moment you press the power button and press it again, it's gone, like you're trying to hide it. So yeah, just turn that off. Uh, it's going to be a better option. Now there's other wallpapers like I can see right here, a brick wall, or just a building, vegetables, suitcases sometimes, and other things. So these wallpapers are so all over the place that I personally don't like them at all. And you're all set, so let's click on finish and here's our home screen. There we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.